Guys, guess what? I was waitlisted to the school that I went to and graduated from. I still have my degree. I'm still a speech pathologist. An amazing one at that. And uh, yeah, life's still good. You're gonna be okay. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine if you didn't know and today I'm going to talk to you guys about some super essential tips that you should be considering if you've been waitlisted to one of your top choices or any school in general. So I feel like when you hear or you see that word waitlisted it is such a devastating thing right and not saying that it should be. We all want to see congratulations you've been accepted right but all I'm saying is some of the best things and most valued things in life are the things you had to wait for. Some of the best things and most valued things in life are the things you had to wait for. So as many of you may know, I went to Indiana University Bloomington to receive my degree in speech pathology. However, what many of you may have just learned today is that I was waitlisted to that school. So today I wanted to share with you guys some of the tips that I would consider very useful if you've been waitlisted because these are the things that I did and let me tell you, a little bit of diligence can go a very long way. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you are on the waitlist is one of two things. If you really still want to go to the school, accept your spot on the waitlist because that guarantees that your name is still in the hat. If you don't want to go to that school and you've been waitlisted, please take your name off the waitlist and kindly tell the school that you're no longer interested because that gives space for someone else who is waiting on the waitlist that really wants to go to that school. So the next thing I would recommend doing is sending either a letter of continued interest or an email. Please don't send a letter of continued interest to a program if they didn't ask for it. My program didn't ask for it, so I went ahead and sent an email instead to the director of the master's program. And so in this email, I just expressed my continued interest, things that I have gained since my application went in initially to just kind of add to my application and the reason why I still really want to come to this program. And so I didn't just send one email, right? I sent that initial one once I found out I had been waitlisted and I sent one frequently throughout the time in which I was told I would have to wait to see if I could get off the wait list. And so typically that's about April 15th. Everyone who has been accepted initially is either gonna say whether they want to come or not. And so I was also very prompt on that deadline on April 15th to message the director to let them know that I was so interested and asking if there were any available spots based on those who had accepted their offer and those who had not. And so being very prompt and diligent about your communication with the program to show them that you're still interested is going to be very, very important because it makes you stand out from the rest of the people on the wait list. So some of your other options if you are waitlisted and maybe you're on the wait list and you don't get in after the April 15th deadline, maybe you don't want to stay on the wait list. There are still some other options. There are schools that have a later acceptance application, so you can always go and apply to some more schools there, you get some more options rolling in, or you can also decide to just wait um, if you don't get in for the fall to do some summer or spring cohort options. They do have that as well. So the wait list is not, you know, like a death note. You're going to be okay. If you really want to go to that school, please be diligent in continuing to talk to the school, showing them that you are interested. Also be patient with yourself and be patient with the program. So if you guys have any more tips to help those who have been waitlisted or you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. But until my next video, peace.